volcano's plumbing systems may give tips on pending eruptions. This is what scientists feel that they find from the analysis they've conducted. Matt Swain, Pennsylvania State University, phys.org article. A volcano will not send out an official invitation when it's ready to erupt, but a team of researchers suggests that scientists who listen and watch carefully may be able to pick up signs that an eruption is about to happen. In a study of Hawaii's Kilauea volcano, researchers reported that pressure changes in the volcano summit reservoir helped explain the number of earthquakes or seismicity in the upper east rift zone. This is on the south coast of the Big Island of Hawaii. That area is just underneath the Puo'o crater of Kilauea. This zone is the highly active region where several eruptions have occurred over the last few decades, including the one that we had recently last year, 2018. They say, we are interested in looking at the mechanisms that trigger seismicity at a very active and dynamic volcano like Kilauea's volcano in Hawaii. And this is what Christine Wathier, assistant professor of geosciences an Institute for Cyber Science co-hire Penn State said there are several physical processes that can drive seismicity and in this study we're trying to find out which one was the most likely. Now this is a recent article dated July 26 a few days ago and uh, we have to remind people that we are having deformation in that area. We know that Mauna Loa, Kilauea, and the seamount off the island just south, the Loihi Seamount, all have the same magma chamber, and it's as if there's three plumes from that magma chamber sticking out, one in Mauna Loa, one in Kilauea, and one in Loihi, which seems to be a new eruption creating more of the land mass from that, that eruption. So, going past that, that they have the same magma chamber, According to, with the other pressure changes that occur in the summit reservoir, an underground chamber hosting hot magma causes stresses in the rocks and ground that surround the magma, even not at its immediate proximity. These the stress changes can trigger small magnitude volcanic tectonic earthquakes, most of the time imperceptible to humans but that are picked up by the, size, the sensitive seismic equipment that monitor the volcano. The seismic activity then may better predict magma movements and resulting eruptions, of course. They can even, uh, the, these instruments are so tender, so delicate, they can pick up the movement of a fraction of a human hair. Now the researchers work challenges a previous theory that suggested the seismic activity in the rift zone was being triggered by the volcano's gradual slip towards the sea. The southern flank of Kilauea is gradually moving towards the ocean at about six centimeters a year, so that's a lot. Most people picture volcanoes violently erupting at their summits. Kilauea, though, is different because its sprawling system of underground tunnels and chambers where magma flows results in eruptions that can happen at various points miles from its summit, when magma travels out of these chambers and onto the Earth's surface, of course, it is called lava. Quote, underneath, there is a conduit system that is extremely long. We're talking about 20 miles or so. This is what Withier said, and it's just like the plumbing in a house. A volcano's plumbing system can be plugged up or blocked and that just might lead to an eruption, end quote. By better understanding the forces that are triggering seismicity, scientists monitoring the seismic activity at other volcanoes could predict future eruptions more accurately, according to the researchers, who reported their findings in a recent issue of geology. Because Kilauea is one of the world's most closely and densely monitored volcanic systems, it serves as a living laboratory to study volcanic activity that can be applied to study other volcanoes. This is what Wathier added, who works with Diana C. Roman, staff scientists 
Carnegie Institute for Science, and Michael Poland, the scientist in charge for Yellowstone Volcano Observatory, USGS. Quote, while there are only a few volcanoes that are as highly instrumented as Kilauea, we know the other one is, of course, Mount Etna. Kilauea is the most active on Earth. Mount Etna is the second most active on Earth. So while there are a few volcanoes that are highly instrumented as Kilauea, which has a super dense seismic network and GPS, so it's very well monitored, but other volcanoes are not monitored like that, with your said. However, for volcanoes that have good seismic networks, and there are many of them, you can apply the exact same approach as this one to look if your volcanic tectonic seismicity, these small earthquakes, are due to magma being injected into a magma reservoir or due to something else. The team used both seismic and satellite imagery data from mid to late 2007 for the study. Seismic analysis was conducted with data collected on the Upper East Rift Zone from the U.S. Geological Survey Hawaiian Volcano Observatory, the HVO. Using information from global positioning satellites, also collected by HVO, the researchers were also able to analyze physical changes to the mountain's shape and pay particular attention to ground surface deformities at the summit. So if it's inflating, that means, of course, more magma is coming in underneath. Then they looked at how these factors correlated with models of the stress changes caused by inflations and deflations of the summit reservoir. By carefully analyzing movements to a volcano summit reservoir, researchers may be able to better predict when and where the eruptions are likely to occur, and then, according to the researchers, however, more work needs to be done, said Withier, future research plans include looking at seismic activity and ground deformation data from other time periods of the volcano. Quote, we've been looking at the period 2007, but that's just a subset. We could imagine just looking at a longer period where we have other inflation deflation events happening and see if we still conclude that same thing, that's magma reservoir inflating, that triggers the seismicity. It's likely that over the course of a long-term eruption, like the 1983 to 2008 one, things are changing, end quote. If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media and not certainly on not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece in Kapota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.